Hello everyone, welcome back to Hotline Topics. I'm not what people think I am. Yoruba actor Lalu Despius speaks on possessing mysterious powers. He's a veteran star actor whose father wanted him to become a magistrate, but he ended up as an actor, which he believes is his destiny. And according to him, no man controls his destiny except God. We are at the National Theatre for Riazas one day when their chairman, Nika Kodri, the veteran actor, asked him what name he would like to adopt as a stage name. He told him that day that he preferred Lalu De. He was not given that name of the job. He gave it to himself. He was born as Fatai Adekunle Adichayo. But when he wanted to venture into theatre business, he gave himself the name Lalu De. In an interview with Tribune, Lalu De spews and speaks on the notion that he possesses mysterious power. He was asked in that interview that they've heard so much that he possesses strange powers and how do they have this to say who gave me the power were they present when the power was given to me have they ever seen me display such powers in their presence or attacked anyone with any power one thing that i know is that not everybody who wants to get close to you has a genuine intention some people are full of evil and wickedness so if you decide to stay away from those people or you know how to handle such people they will say you are using one power or another thing but over the years lalu day has been described as a strong man and so many people say that he's fortified with some mystical power which scares people. Well, the star veteran actors say that people like to draw conclusions hastily without finding out the truth from the person in question. He's not who people think he is. He's an actor who gives his very best to his craft. He does not have any mysterious power that could make people disappear or appear anyway. It is all about the art. And on how he knows all the incantations. Well, he had this to say. It is funny that I didn't even learn how to use incantations from anyone. Before now, I used to write them down and study it line by line. But after a while, I mastered it so well that I don't need any scripts to get into my character when it comes to playing any role. And on if he has ever gotten into trouble with people who try to test him, if he really has these powers, he had this to say. It's gonna happen to anybody. You don't have to be a theater person to experience such in real life. Some people want to know the source of your power and try to provoke you. But the beautiful thing about life is that if you don't wish evil on anybody, no evil will come to you. Even when people try to hurt you, they end up harming themselves. What you don't want people to do to you, don't do it to others. I think that settles it. Even God says, love your neighbor as yourself. The greatest thing is to hurt your neighbor who has done nothing wrong to you. God frowns on such. So according to the star veteran actor, who usually acts the role of a traditionalist, he reveals in this interview that he's not what people think he is. And he finally addresses the issue of him, and he finally addresses the topic of him possessing mysterious powers. If you want to know more about the star veteran actor, please stay with us. As mentioned earlier, his name is Fatai Adetayo Adekunle, he was born in the late 50s. But then he's popularly called Lalude. He started acting at a very young age while he was still in primary school. He made himself available in all drama groups. He had great love and passion for acting and began to pursue his dreams and his acting career. He also mentioned in an interview that what actually motivated him was a theater group that usually hold their rehearsals behind his father's compound. Anytime he closed from school, he was always there to watch this group. After his education, he made up his mind to join the Yoruba movie industry as a new actor. He was featured in minor roles before he eventually discovered his talent in the role of herbalist. Lalu De is highly talented, creative, and skillful. He's specifically good in taking the roles of herbalist. And over the years, he has featured in numerous movies, including Aishikba, Akinla Jaodeokun, Mayegu, Ibinu Balogun, Ulori Ebe Abba, Ariku Yeri, and Dubori Elemosho, just to mention a few of them. He's mostly referred to as undefeated warrior for his movie roles. He conquers, succeeds in many Yoruba movies. Aside from his herbalist role, he's also seen taking the role of father, king, chief, as well as a prophet. He's highly respected and well recognized in the industry as a result of his age and years of experience. This legend actor has funny ways of talking sometimes as he would clench his teeth together, especially when he's hungry. He has been active in this movie industry for over three decades and counting. Some of the movies he has featured in include Jesu Lulua, Anikura, Ogakon, Alantako, Ijiwuro, 
and all rollouts, just to mention a few of them. So this is a little bit about this virtual Yoba actor, Lalu De, whose real name is Fatai Adekunle Adetayo. There are still many more veterans who many people do not know their real names. And if you want to know some of these veterans, please stay with us. The veteran actor, Edao Nilio Ola, who is regarded as one of the oldest in this industry. His real name is Larry Baima. Abayeda, a prolific traditional movie producer, has produced works like the popular epic movie, Udoe Lemo Show, and several of this. When you hear the name Larry Baima, not many people will know what you're talking about. But once you say Edao Nilio Ola, Obabayeda, then you're sure that everybody knows who you're talking about. The other veteran actor is Ogabilo. His real name is Adebayo Salami. He's a veteran actor who many people look up to as a role model. He was born in Lagos Island, part of Lagos State in 1953, and he started acting in 1964 with a group called Young Concert Party, led by the late Ojula Dipo, and featured in his first movie, produced by Dr. Ola Balogo, titled Ajaniogo, in 1977. And then the other veteran actor is Ashewoto Remeka. But then her real name is Tonya Dibola, but she's popularly called Tonya Ashewoto Remeka as a result of a fantastic role she played in the movie Ashewoto Remeka, which actually shot her into the limelight. The other actor is Lola Idije. Her real name is Tonya Falanya, but then she's well known as the temperamental, no nonsense, and mysterious character she plays in movies. It goes by the name Lola Idije. She acted in a film where she played the character of a prostitute with the name Lola DJ, and since then, that's name has stuck. The other veteran actress, Faluwe Ikwe, her real name is Modupe Jones. She's one of those veteran actresses who has produced and directed many movies. Based on her acting progress, she was able to carve a niche for herself. She's a no-nonsense actress and got the name Faluwe Ikwe from the role she played in a few years back. The other actor is Shongo. But his real name is Wale Adebayo. He's a prolific actor who brought innovation and glamour into the movie industry. He played the role of Shongo in the popular movie title Shongo, and since then, that name stuck. The other actor is Ajiribi, but his real name is Kaya Deola Sainte, but then he's probably called Ajiribi. He joined the movie industry over three decades ago. He's also called Pa James. So these are the actors with popular stage names that most people don't even know their real names. I'll come to the end of this episode where the veteran actor Lalu De Spears and speaks on the issue of him possessing mysterious powers. If you enjoyed this episode and let's on the 20th, subscribe and hit the bell icon for daily content.